Alright, so... I see an opportunity here. I want to take it. I want to give my team a better edge when they enter a battle zone concealed. I think it could work out for us. Now you never know. New orders, Commander. All right, this is what I'm thinking. Shadow Chamber is going to be create uh, created soon, which means Song will be free. We're keeping the individuals like in the power relay and resistance comms, respectively. So we'll only have one engineer to really play with. So. Really, since we have enough power, I'm thinking clear another room out, either clear another room out or use this engineer to create and rush a project in the Proving Grounds, namely the Plasma Grenade, but I'm not sure. Dustin interjected with his own two cents. I may or may not have spaced out during it, though. Not to sound like a dick. Um... Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. I mean, we have... enough Valerium cores to sink a ship, so why don't I have you work on a new type of grenade? Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Might as well. We can get a new. We can get a scientist over there. That'd be swell. Also, I, I need. I really need to focus board. on the subject at hand. I feel like we're getting too far behind. I feel we're getting way too far behind coming through clear. counteracting the aliens' events. We need to move. Take down a facility, hit the black site, take two, kill two birds, well, with two stones, really. New regional contacts located. We can get to the eastern U.S. now, and we got a bonus. All of our weapons have additional upgrade capabilities. Interesting. Avenger, I'm low on money, course. so let's quickly head back over here to the black market. The market is open. Sectoid Viper corpses and Advent Mech Rex. Alright. I'll bite and give you some sectoid corpses. about as far as you're going to get with me, though. Hmm. How much would it take for me to send you over to eastern United States? 120 intel, huh? to figure out what our next step should be. I feel like we probably should hit the black site. I don't feel we'll get... I feel like even if I went to Resistance Headquarters to focus on uh, information gathering, we wouldn't get enough in time to go to the U.S. to counteract this. But at the same time, this is worth quite a bit to the Avatar project, where this isn't worth as much. If I can get over here, I can knock off a good chunk of their progress. And then there's also the scientist that's here. Let's, let's go back. For the South African sector. I don't know if I'm making the right choice here. But I need to counteract the Avatar project, period. It's getting way too close. Shadow Chamber now operational. Alright. 
Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. Hope so. New objective added. Examine the Codex brain in the shadow chamber. Yeah, we have a lot of those. We can study the Codex and decrypt its data. With the shadow chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the Codex artifact recovered by our forces. Six days. All research projects will be suspended. How far are we with Gauss weaponry? All right, let's wait three days and then we'll start examining the Codex brain. Welcome, Commander. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the Resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. I'm trying my best. Sorry. The event will just stay hidden. Another alien facility will be made in two weeks and another retaliation strike. We still have the issue with the UFO and the rural checkpoints. I'll get that supply drop in a second. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Oh yeah? The fact that we now have access to Gauss weaponry that is both combat effective and safe to operate at these power levels is quite an achievement. The overall design relies on advanced miniaturization technologies developed by the aliens which are frankly well beyond anything conceived by, of by Earth's leading military development firms at the time of the invasion. Despite our limited capability for extended test firings on board the ship, our latest prototypes are already capable of consistently accelerating an adaptive alloy projectile to over 5,000 miles a second or in a simulated environment. We're still preparing the final assessment, but it's likely a field deployable unit would have to be limited to a lower power threshold due to the potential for ongoing strain to our troops when operating the weapons. All right, so a, a Gauss rifle is available, available to upgrade from our current sniper rifles and a mag cannon to upgrade from our regular cannon. All right, cool. Shield bearer. Right away, when I found out that we had a shield bearer corpse, I wanted in on that. Physically, the Advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces, and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most Martin, of their stop eating popcorn while you're watching this. Difference in equipment and armor, components. I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. Martin, I swear to God, go take the popcorn somewhere else. Without access to refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come Actually. by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered Advent equipment is highly coveted. We have an unstaffed engineer. Where can I put them to work? Where's... Oh, Shen is working with Tygen in the shadow, cha shadow chamber. Uh, where can I put this uh, individual, this engineer that needs some somewhere to work? How long would it take for you to excavate this? 20 days. Forget that. At least for now.
sure we'll get some good work done. I'm, I'm trying to mentally figure out what the next good step is to take. I'm trying to balance getting intel with the supply drop that we have and the scientists that we can go grab and we're going to have to deal with a, a strike from the aliens in two weeks. A bit less than two weeks. So yeah, pressure's on and I'm feeling very, very uneasy. So I'm just like... Confused. I'm wasting too much time trying to do this. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Trying. Commander, we've had the Shadow Chamber running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. I didn't have to waste all that time getting intel. We can get some intel from a VIP here. Operation Perilous Grin. There's eight enemies detected. An advanced officer, a shield bearer, a muton, a sectoid, a viper, an advanced trooper, and an advanced stun lancer. I can handle that. Setting course Go. For Western and then we'll Europe. get. Then we'll get our supplies. All right, Dustin, I'm gonna have you spear, spearhead this operation. Not a position that you're surprised to be in, I'm sure. I'm trying to rescue a VIP from an advent cell. I have no idea if this is taking place indoors or out, so let's go with a balance of a sharpshooter, a specialist, a ranger, and a grenadier, and we'll figure out who the fifth person is in a second. Um. What Delta? We're gonna give you an opportunity to get at some alien scum because you haven't had the opportunity to. And I know you're just itching to get out there. All right, Kyle, jumping in with them. And the Grenadier who's going to be coming with in this mission, the Dweiler. Now, I'm thinking a Ranger. So, Martin, Gamer Bomb, you're heading out too. However, I want you to definitely be more careful than the rest, because you tend to have a tendency to get your ass kicked. Alright, so. Alright, Delta, I want to trust you with medkits to help your teammates out if they do need help. Destin, as I do with any of our sharpshooters, you're going to get... Hmm. Well, we know who, we know who the, the enemy is, but... Knowing where they are is a completely different story. Different kettle of fish. Alright. What else do we have on us? I keep forgetting sometimes. Smoke grenade might be useful. You know what? Let's go with some venom rounds. And Dweiler, I'm giving you a gas grenade.
All right, so Destin, Delta, Kyle, Dwyler, and Martin. You guys are going to be rescuing a VIP. And what we gain is going to be crucial, crucial to us countering the Avatar Project. Trust me, long-term benefit. I need, the, I need this intel that they can provide us desperately. We're moving in to try and pull off an emergency rescue operation for the resistance. The spokesman gave us the coordinates of a VIP currently being held by Advent forces in this area. We need to secure the site, remove any hostiles standing in our way, and free the prisoner. Now it looks like this is taking place in a little town. A little advanced town, so that means we'll have some elevated positioning that we need to take advantage of. So, Destin, this is where you definitely can shine. And Kyle, let's hope to God you can hack something right. <laughs> Sorry, but man, though, if we were trying to stay concealed, Martin is not Base doing a good job for the we team. Have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Rescue the VIP from the action concealment. Extract the VIP at designated location. Extract all XCOM soldiers. We don't even need to kill the enemy. And I'm sure they're going to send in reinforcements, so... Yeah, we're... We only have so much time. Let's figure it out. 